नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल एक्सपांड साइन है इन असेंडिंग पावर ऑफ एक्स माइनस फाइव आई टू सो नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज ऑफ द सेम टाइप नेक्स्ट टू एग्जाम्पल्स सो दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन टेलर स्टेरम दैट इज दीज आर नॉट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन मैकलोन स्टेरम सो इफ द क्वेश्चन इज एक्सपांड साइन एक्स इन असेंडिंग पावर ऑफ एक्स और जस्ट एक्सपांड साइन एक्स बाई यूजिंग मैकलोन स्टेरम और टेलर स्टेरम then use maclaurin theorem the expansion of sin x in order to obtain the expansion of sin x uh, use the maclaurin theorem but here the expansion of sin x in the ascending power of x minus 5 by 2 it is not in the ascending power of x it is in the ascending power of x minus 5 by 2 so in order to uh, solve such a type of examples use taylor theorem so what is the taylor theorem f of a plus h is equal to f of a plus h f dash a plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash a plus h cube by 3 factorial f triple dash a and so on so this is the taylor theorem so take h as x minus 5 by 2 if it is x plus 5 by 2 then take h as x plus 5 by 2 so x uh, it is h actually h is what x minus a so here a plus h as x we take a plus h as x means h is x minus a A plus h as x, so h is x minus a. A plus h as x means h is x minus a. And so, if compare if you come compare this x minus phi by two with x minus a, then we have a as phi uh, by two. So if we, it is x plus h by two in the ascending power x plus h by two, then if we compare x plus h by two with x minus a, then a becomes minus phi by two. So h is x minus a and then take x h of x minus 5 by 2 as x minus a so a is 5 by 2 f of a plus h means f of x like a, a plus h as x and take f x as sin x and then find uh, uh, f of a f dash a f double dash a in order to find this uh, we use uh, find f dash x no right uh, this is the next step after fx is equal to sin x right this step that fx is sin x so f of pi by 2 f of pi by 2 okay here is f of pi by 2 uh, f of a the first term is what f of a means you have to find the f of pi by 2 so f of pi by 2 is sin pi by 2 is 1 then f dash x then we have to find the f dash a a is pi by 2 so we have to find the f dash pi by 2 Because here f of f of a plus h means f x is sin x, f of a means f of pi by two, h means x minus pi by two, h is x minus pi by two. F dash a means f dash f dash pi by two. Then h square means x minus pi by two bracket square by two factorial. F double dash a f double dash pi by two a is pi by two. Similarly, substitute h as x minus pi by two bracket cube by three factorial f triple dash. Pi by two and so on. So we have to find the value of f of a, f dash a, f double dash a. Means we have to find the value of f of pi by two. So this is f of pi by two, f dash pi by two. So in order to find f dash pi by two, first find f dash x. The root of sine x is cos x. And then f dash pi by two means cos pi by two is zero. Then f double dash x means cos x. The root of cos x is minus sine x. F double dash pi by two means minus sine pi by two is minus one. The triple dash x is minus cos x. The root of this minus sine x is minus cos x. The triple dash pi by two is minus cos pi by two means zero. So cos pi by two is zero. Yep. Applied to four x. The root of cos x is minus sine x. So minus one becomes plus sine x. Applied to four pi by two is sine pi by two is one, and so on. And substitute these values. So sine x, f x, f of a plus h or f x means sine x. F of a, f of pi by two is one. Then one by two factorial, it's one by two factorial. Uh, h f dash a is zero. Uh, then h f dash a x minus five by two. Then next term is x minus five by two bracket square by two factorial. I'm double dash five by two. I'm double dash five by two. <coughs> is uh, uh, value is minus one. Then the value next term in the value is zero. Uh, if Triple dash uh, pi by two. Then f raised to four pi by two is one. The next value is zero. Next value is minus one. If you observe these values, one zero minus one zero one zero all these. Okay. So substitute the values. We have this. Okay. 
1 minus 1 by 2 factorial x minus 5 by 2 bracket square this term okay and so on so this is the expansion of sin x in the ascending power of x minus pi by 2 in the ascending power of x minus pi by 2 this is the first term is x minus pi by 2 raised to 0 this is x minus pi by 2 raised to 4 next term is x minus pi by 2 raised to 4 x, next term is x minus pi by 2 raised to 6 so this is the expansion of sin x in the ascending power of x minus pi by 2 next example is x1 log sin x in the ascending power of x minus 3 so uh, yeah, right Taylor cinema yeah, f of a plus h is f of a plus h f dash a plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash a plus h cube by 3 factorial f triple dash a and so on h is now x minus 3 so if you compare h is equal to x minus a then a becomes 3 f of a means f of x is sin log sin x and then this equation reduces to log sin x f of x means log sin x uh, f of a f of a means f of 3 h is x minus 3 h a dash a is a dash 3 then h square x minus 3 bracket square by 2 factorial f triple dash f double dash 3 x minus 3 bracket that's to 3 divided by 3 factorial f triple dash 3 and so on so now we have to find the value of f of 3 f double f dash 3 f double dash 3 f triple dash 3 so f x is log sin x so f 3 is what log sin 3 then f dash 3 in order to find f dash 3 find f dash x log sin x derivative is what 1 by sin x uh, d into derivative of sin x is cos x so cos x by sin x means cot x and f dash 3 is cot 3 then f double dash x the derivative of cot x is what minus cos x square x so f double dash 3 is what minus cos x square 3 then the derivative of minus cos x square 3 is what minus 2 cos x 3 now cos x x uh, into derivative of cos x, x is what minus cos x, x into cot x and so it has become plus 2 times cos x square x into cot x and the value at uh, 3 is what f triple dash 3 is 2 cos x square 3 cot 3 and so on and substitute these values of f3 f double dash 3 f double dash 3 f double dash 3 f double dash 3 f triple dash 3 in this we have this log sine x is what log sine 3 plus x minus 3 log cot 3 minus x minus 2 bracket square by 2 cos, cos x square 3 x minus 3 by 3 factorial is 3 into cos x square 3 2 and this divided by 6 becomes divided by 3 cos x square 3 cot 3 and so on after simplification mm. so this is the expansion of log sin x in the ascending power of x minus 2 x minus 3 in the ascending power of x minus 3 okay so the next example is uh, expand tan x in the ascending power of x minus pi by 4. So tan x is now f of x, it's tan x. And write the first Taylor's theorem that f of a plus h is f of a plus h f dash a plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash a plus h cube by 3 factorial f triple dash a and so on. Now uh, h is now x minus pi by 4 h is what x minus pi by 4 because we had to expand this uh, uh, tan x in the ascending power of x minus pi by 4 so compare this h as x minus pi by 4 with x minus a so a is pi by 4 and f of a plus h means fx if x means a plus h means x and so it is equal to tan x fx is tan x and then result one becomes f of a plus h means fx is tan x then write a as a pi by 4 here and h as this x minus pi by 4. We have this that f of pi by 4 plus x minus pi by 4 f double dash, f dash pi by 4. Then h square means x minus pi by 4 bracket square by 2 factorial f double dash pi by 4. Then h as x minus pi by 4 cube by 3 factorial f triple dash pi by 4 and so on. So we have fx is tan x. So f of pi by 4 is tan pi by 4 is 1. Then we have to find the f dash pi by 4. So find first f dash x. f dash x is what? f dash x is tan x. 0 to tan x is 6 square x. And then f dash pi by 4 is 6 square root uh, 6 square pi by 4. 
that is sec pi by 4 and its bracket square. Sec pi by 4 is root 2, its square is uh, 2, right here 2. Root 2 square is 2. Then m double dash x, m double dash x is what? M double dash x is 2 sec x, derivative of this is 2 sec x, sec x into tan, derivative of sec x is sec x into tan, 2 sec square x tan x. And then f double dash pi by 4, that is substitute x as pi by 4. So 2 sec square pi by 4 tan pi by 4, tan pi by 4 is 1. And sec square pi by 4 is root 2 bracket square. So it has become 2 into 2, that is 4. Okay, write 2, and write 2. And then f triple dash x. So it is derivative u into root 2 as it is. Uh, derivative of sec square x is what? 2 sec x, sec x into tan x, into tan x as it is. Uh, and plus uh, sec square as it is, derivative of tan x is sec square x. So uh, simplification is 2 sec square x, uh, 2 tan square x plus sec square x. Okay, by taking sec square x as common. And then value at uh, pi by 4 is 2 sec square pi by 4 is 2. In bracket 2 tan square pi by 4 is 1 square is 1 and sec square pi by 4 is 2. two so 2 plus 2. So we have 16 and so on. Substitute so these values in equation, this equation number one. So we have f, f of x means tan x, f of, f of pi by four is one plus two uh, x minus five. The value of this quantity is two, a dash pi by four. Here, a dash pi by four. Here, right two, two into x minus pi by four. And then x minus pi by four bracket square by two factorial, a double dash pi by four. A double dash pi by four is is 4, so substitute that value is 4. Then uh, x minus uh, pi by 4 cube by 3 factorial f triple dash 4, f triple dash 4 is 16. And this 3 factorial means uh, 6. 16 by 6 means 8 by 3, x minus pi by 4, four uh, bracket cube. And this is the uh, expansion of tan x in ascending power of x minus pi by 4. This is the expansion of tan x in ascending power of x minus 4. So these are some examples on the uh, Taylor's theorem. These, these are expansion in the ascending power. So if such a type of example uh, that expand in ascending power, expand the function in ascending power of some bracket, some x minus a type function, then use the Taylor's theorem. So Another example, x1, this uh, 49 plus 69x plus 42x square plus 11x cubed plus x raised to 4 in powers of x plus 2. So by Taylor's theorem, fx or f of a plus h is what? f of a plus h, f dash a plus h square by 2 factorial, f double dash a plus h cube by 3 factorial, f triple dash k right here, f triple dash k and so on. Suppose this is equation star. Then we take h as x plus 2 and compare with x minus a. So a is minus 2 now, h is x minus a, but it is x plus 2, therefore x minus a and x plus 2 comparison, we have a is minus 2. And then write the given function as fx, x raised to 4 plus 11x cubed plus 42x square plus 69x plus 49 as fx. And then uh, value at f of a is, yeah, that is f of a means f of minus 2 is what? Substitute x as minus 2. So we have the answer 7, okay. Then f dash x, f dash x is the derivative of this quantity, 4x cubed, then 11 into 3, 33x square, 42 into 2 is 84x plus 69. And then value at um, a, it means the f dash a means f dash minus 2 is this, that is substitute x as minus 2, we have answer 1. Then you have double, triple, double dash x, it's the derivative, 12x square, plus 66x plus 84, then f double dash a means f double dash minus 2, a is minus 2. So substitute x as minus 2. So we have the answer 0. Then f triple dash x is 24x plus 66. Then value at a, f triple dash a is what? 24 into minus 2 plus 66, a that is 18. Then fourth order that it is 24, 24x plus 16. 66 is there it is 24 then value at uh, value f raised to 4 a f raised to 4 minus 2 is 24 then fifth order derivative is 0 
so general fifth order derivative we have zero then sixth order seventh order all the remaining terms are zero so here write full stop in the remaining examples write so on after this uh, after finding first order second order third order fourth order derivative we write so on that is the further derivatives are uh, uh, exist but uh, not equal to zero the general derivative are not equal to zero that is the functions are uh, not uh, this function is not continuously differentiable that is after some uh, order derivative that is after a year we have the uh, after four derivative all the remaining derivatives are zero so this is not continuously differentiable some functions are continuously differentiable for example sin x so its derivative is in a, in any order of derivative of sin x is not equal to zero that is the first order derivative of sin x is cos x then second order is minus sin x again minus cos x again plus sin x and in this way we have uh, infinitely many derivative such a function are called continuously differentiable function so this is not continuously differentiable function after some uh, 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 times derivative that is uh, after uh, either fourth order derivative fifth order derivative sixth order derivative we have the derivative uh, all the remaining derivative are zero so this is not continuously differentiable function so after some uh, uh, that is here we have the fifth order derivative zero sixth order derivative zero seventh order derivative zero so this this function is not continuously differentiable function so write uh, the taylor's theorem that this is the taylor's theorem fx right? so write fx means f of a plus h so fx is uh, this function the given function x raised to 4 plus 11x cube plus 69x plus 49 is equal to f of a f of a is what is 7 plus h h is right x plus 2 a dash a h a dash a a dash a is uh, 1 plus h square by 2 factorial means x plus 2 bracket square by 2 factorial f double dash a 0 plus h cube that is x plus 2 bracket cube by 3 factorial f double dash f triple dash a is uh, is what 18 then next term is what x h raised to 4 means x plus 2 raised to 4 by 4 factorial f raised to 4 a is 24 and uh, full stop then remaining terms are 0 plus so on no don't write plus so on plus that that dash don't write plus that that dash because the remaining terms are uh, are zero so full stop and then the expansion uh, the simplification is what seven plus x plus two three this term is zero three factorial three factorial means uh, uh, three factorial six three into two into one is six 18 by six that is 3x plus 2 cube and uh, uh, this 24 uh, 4 factorial means 24 and 24 by 24 becomes 1 so x plus 2 raised to 4 so this is the expansion of this function in ascending power of x plus 2 if we simplify the rhs that is if you find uh, uh, this x plus 2 bracket cube x plus 2 bracket raised to 4 and if you simplify all the rhs then we have the answer, uh, this answer, LHS, as a LHS. So this is the expansion of this uh, function in ascending power of x plus 2. So already these examples are on Maclaurin's theorem. Apply Taylor's theorem to prove this. Log sin x plus h as log sin x plus h cot x minus h square by 2 factorial cos x square x h cube by 3 uh, h, h cube by 3 cot x and co into cos x square x and so on and the second example so by taylor theorem apply taylor theorem pure taylor theorem that is f of x plus h is fx plus h f dash x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash x h cube by 3 factorial f triple dash x and write f of x plus h as psi, psi log sin x plus h as f of x plus h and then fx is what? Substitute h as 0. So in order to find fx, substitute h is 0. So fx is log sin x. So this term. This term. fx is log sin x. Then find f dash x. f dash x is log sin x. Derivative is 1 by sin x into cos x. That is cot x. Then f double dash x. In order to find f double dash x. The derivative of cos x is minus cos x square x. F triple dash x is what? 
minus 2 times cosec x into delta of cosec x is what? Minus cosec x into cot x. That is 2 cosec square x cot x and so on. And substitute these values in the Taylor's theorem. So f of x plus h as log <coughs> sin x plus h. The value of f of x plus h is log sin x plus h. Then value of fx as log sin x. Then h y dash x. h y dash x is what? Uh, h cot x. y dash x is cot x. Plus h square by 2 factorial. 2 factorial is 2. f double dash x is what? f double dash x is minus cos x square x. So this becomes h minus h square by 2 cos x square x. Next term is plus h cube by 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 6. And the value of f dash x is this. 2 cos x square x into cot x and 2 by 6 become divided by 3 cos x square x into cot x. That is we have this. The proof of this first. Similarly, we have to find the uh, x function of sine inverse x plus h in this form. Apply Taylor's theorem and use f of x plus, uh, denote f of x plus h as sine inverse x plus h. So write first Taylor's theorem, f of x plus h as sine inverse x plus h. Take h as 0, then fx is sine inverse x. Then find its derivative, 1 by, uh, sine inverse x derivative 1 by root 1 minus x square. 1 minus x raised to minus half. Then derivative f double dash x is minus half. It's derivative minus half. x minus x square. This is x right here, x square. Raised to minus half. Uh, minus 1 becomes uh, 3 by 2. Minus 3 by 2 right here. Minus 3 by 2. Minus half and minus 1, minus 3 by 2. Into delta of my 1 minus x square is minus 2 x. So it's become uh, 2 to get cancelled. x by 1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2 and so on. So substitute these values in this Taylor's theorem. f of x plus h as f of x plus h as this uh, sine inverse x plus h. Then fx as sine inverse x, fx as sine inverse x plus h f dash x, h f dash x is this 1 by root 1 minus x square plus uh, next term is uh, h square by 2 factorial f double dash x. So, so the, this term, the h square, right? The h square by 2 factorial. This term, h square by 2 factorial. F double dash x. F double dash x is this term. And so we have this. And we have to prove this. This is the, uh, okay. Sine inverse x is sine inverse x plus h. Plus, this is h square by 2 factorial. x by 1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2. 1 minus x square raised to 3 by 2. So these are some problems for homework. Apply Taylor's theorem to prove e raised to x plus h. That is, take f of x plus h as e raised to x plus h. These type of examples. These examples are right f of x plus h as f of x plus h as e raised to x plus h. And write Taylor's theorem and solve these examples. So all these examples are on Taylor's theorem. X one e raised to x in the ascending power of x minus one. Again Taylor's theorem and take x plus uh, h as x minus uh, 1 and a is 1. So similar problem like this. x1 log sec x tan x. So these 16 number problems are, these two problems are on Maclaurin's theorem. x1 sec x. So these are problems for homework. Uh, these are also the problems on the Maclaurin's theorem. e raised to sin x, e raised to x into cos x. So all these examples by using Maclaurin's theorem. This is again log 1 plus sin x fx as log 1 plus sin x and then write Maclaurin's theorem and write the expansion, find the expansion. So assume the validity log 1 plus log 1 plus x. That is, these are the problems on the again Maclaurin's theorem. Write the fx as log tan x by x and then find the expansion. Or this is log tan x by x means log x, log tan x minus log x. Expand this by using. So these are the answers of the problem. So solve all these problems in the exercise assignment notebook. Solve all these problems in assignment notebook. So the next topic is now nth order derivative. So we will see the next topic as nth order derivative of some standard function in the next lecture. <coughs>